I'm from a town where the young never shut our eyes. Pick your poison, you could ride with those other guys. Life is more than just a dream when your team's strong. We write anthems, this is more than just a theme song. Rock bees on our winter wears. Welcome to Benam, the home of the Phenoms. It's only one city that we lean on. We call that. What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you another edition of the Minecraft segment. I believe this is going to be episode 12. I want to apologize to all you guys who have been following my Minecraft. I've been slacking on it a little bit, but we are going to get back into it. I just had a really busy week. Last week was so hectic, that's why there was barely any uploads. But um, this week, we're definitely going to get back into it. The Minecraft is strong, guys. It's real strong. So you know what? We're going into it right now. And uh, so... Oh, follow the train. All you had to do was to follow the damn train, CJ. That's all you had to do, man. <laughs> I fucking love Minecraft. But all right then. So um, now let's get the game started. If you guys remember, basically... Wait, wait, hold on. I actually need to get my headphones as well because I don't want the volume spiking in this. Give me one second, guys. Sorry about that. Let me just get my headphones. I would just cut the video, but... Uh, the, the way I record, I can't really cut it when I'm recording both the Minecraft and the um, and the actual camera recording at the same time. So you're gonna have to endure me looking for my um, tools, well, rather my headphones, while I um, get this together. But don't worry, the episode will be a little bit longer today. So no worries. Okay, so got the headphones in. All right. This way, you know, I don't have to worry about the volume interfering with the actual recording. Because, you know, the volume of the game is pretty loud, so I don't want that messing with me talking. So this way, it makes things easier for both of us. All right. All right, I'm back. <laughs> Got the headphones in. Gonna detach this. I hope the sound doesn't get messed up from the um, headphones touching the mic. But it should be okay. I'm hoping it'll be okay. Either way, I'll be able to check. Okay, so we are now ready to go, guys. Uh, I'm pretty excited, actually, because, you know, this is a, we're at the point now where we can pretty much work on the house and not have to worry about too much going down because um, we have a place now. So I feel really good. But anyways, let's not waste any time. Let's get into the game. So starting it off, Etika Land, Play Selected World. All right, then. So now, if I remember correctly, we were supposed to be um, building our little mountaintop home here. And, you know, right now, I, I feel really good with our setup. I feel really, really good with it. We just have to continuously dig our land flat here. Because, oh yeah, we had our retarded boat here the last episode, you know? <laughs> this, I still don't understand the mechanics behind this. Like, how is this actually possible? But you know what? It, it, I'm, I'm not going to worry about it too much. We're just going to continue clearing out this land here. This will basically be a little mountaintop home. And it's going to have like a... I want to put like a glass like floor so you can see the bottom in a way, but then that will require me digging through the entire fucking mountain as it is, and I don't think I want to do that. Is it becoming nighttime or is it becoming daytime? It's becoming nighttime, okay. But I don't think there's much to worry about since we are at the top of the damn mountain, so you know, I'm not too worried about anything like that. Let me see, is the focus good on me? There we go. Yeah, I mean, we're at the top of a mountain, so it's not like I have to force this. I mean, I can just take my time. And that's how we need to work through this. Yes, this is beautiful, though. We'll be able to really get our house done. Because at this rate, this I was thinking that this project of clearing the mountaintop out would be, like, a really difficult one. But nah, to my surprise, it's going pretty fast, actually. I'm rather impressed. Yes, yes. Yeah, how have you guys been, you know? My last week, as I said, was really, really hectic, so that's the main reason why I wasn't around. Um, I was doing some stuff with buying new equipment. I was running all over the place with helping my mom with some stuff, because I, I don't live with my mom anymore, but I do help her out with some things every now and then. She helps me out with some things, too, so um, yeah. I'm also a professional male model. I, I'm not saying it's a boast. I'm just saying it because um, 
At least this way you guys know that's why sometimes my schedule can be a little bit busy. Is this an effective way to clear out a space? I'm not sure, but whatever, it's working. It's kind of cool working at nighttime. If you guys can't tell, it's actually um, early, early morning where I live. Early morning. Like, I get up usually at the crack of dawn, like 4 or 5 a.m. The reason why, mainly the reason why is because, uh, well, to be honest, it's not for any reason. It just happens. I don't know why. My body has now, for some reason, like gotten used to waking up at like fucking 3, 4 a.m., I only sleep for like three hours. I don't know why. I, I'm really weird like that. I don't know if you guys have that issue too, where like if you go to sleep, like you can't really sleep too long and then you wake up like instantaneously, like two or three hours later. So it's like a little annoying in that regard. I wish I didn't have that, but whatever, it's all good. All right, I don't think we need to like go too far out, you know? I don't think we need to go too far out at all. I think this will be adequate enough. It's not like I'm trying to make this place like massive right now. So yeah, I think I'll clear out one more level and then we'll be good here. Yes, I'm feeling good. Finally got us a place here. But like I said, I always find it like a little bit boring whenever Minecraft playthroughs go through like that process of building or mining something, because it's like, you know, nothing really exciting happens. It's not that I'm asking for anything crazy to happen, but you know, it's like digging, 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 you know. What is there to look at here? But I mean, if you guys enjoy it, I'll do it, you know. Okay then, stuff is broken. But yeah, tell me, tell me ways that you actually would enjoy, like, somebody just mining through stuff. Do you guys like me talking about my life like this? I mean, hopefully you do, because, you know, I have really nothing else to talk about here. <laughs> okay, boom. Alright, let's jump up on this. And we are going to finally clear out that last little piece there. And we're good here. We don't really need to worry about too much else. All right, excellent. So we got our little mountaintop home pretty much secured here. Don't read that here. We're gonna put this here and this, what the f What the f This is retarded. And I can't even get out of the damn thing. Come on, man. Why is it? All right, there we go, boom. This thing is dangerous. You know what? I'm not even gonna care anymore. Let's just plug this thing up. Okay, for some reason, it doesn't want me to get plugged up. What the hell's going on here? I should have never... What the hell's happening? Why? <gasps> Fuck! Okay, so let's find us a home. That actually just happened. That actually just happened.
you know, it's, it's not like we can go back, you know? There's no going back. Because, you know, that place was somewhere across a random ocean in some random area that I don't even know where, what direction I even went in in the first place. What the What the hell was that? What was that? It was, it was a boat in the ground! It was a boat in the ground! It was a fucking boat in the ground! What's going on here? My anger is... Oh, my God. You know what? You know what, Jungle Dungeon? Since you seem to be constantly reappearing in my life, I might as well, you know, I might as well take refuge in you because you seem to be the only thing that's stable in my game. Look at all that. Look at all those fucking monsters across the ocean. They're all gonna... What do I do, man? I don't even know what I can do anymore. Jesus. Oh, God. What's that sound? What's that sound? Oh, God. What's that sound? I'm really scared. I'm scared, man. I don't know what to do. This is so... What do I do? Oh, man. It's not like I can go all the way back across the ocean. I don't even know where I went. This is horrible, man. This is really horrible. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do, man. But you know what? Bitching. It's not one of the options, you know. I gotta actually fix this somehow. Let me just get some of this wood. Hopefully, I don't attract any monsters' attention. But I should probably get some more of this dirt to be able to, you know, block a passageway just in case something does go down. Hmm. You know, I'll be honest. Maybe it's kind of a good thing that I kind of got thrown off there. I think I want to start a different kind of home too. I've always admired, like, people who make homes underwater. Why? I don't know. It's just because it has, like, a nice serene feel to it. And at least if I make a place, like, close by here, I won't have to worry about, you know, dying and losing my ground. You know, maybe I'll consider that. Plus, I'm right next to this cool jungle dungeon that I could turn into, like, a place filled with nothing but traps. Oh! Fuck! 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 Run! 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 Where are you going? Run! Oh shit! Oh shit, rocks! Run! 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 Jump out! Jump out! Jump out! Jump out! Jump! Run! Get away from here! Oh my god! Is he coming after me? All right, screw that. We're not living there. We are not going anywhere near that place. Fuck the jungle dungeon. Fuck this game. Fuck the jungle dungeon, though. Fuck the jungle dungeon in specifics. Why? Because that was bullshit. Where did it even c Damn, man. I can't... Oh, God. Where am I going? What am I doing? I had so many cool items there. Oh, oh God. I had so many cool items, yet I lost everything. I lost everything. For what? For a damn boat in the ground. I don't even know where I'm going to go. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just fucking around at this point. Should I even be in here? This looks dangerous. I don't think I want to be in there. Nah. Well. Shit. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Minecraft segment. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll talk to you guys later on. Take care of yourselves, please. Have a damn good one. Because I damn sure am not. What's going on, guys? Etika from the Etika World Network. Last episode, I lost everything. Everything. So, let's continue the Let's Play right here. Anyways, um, I just picked up some sugar cane. Yeah, that, that's kind of fun, you know. I picked up some sugar cane. And at this point now, I'm really much you know, wandering aimlessly through this bitch. Without, a, without any direction whatsoever in this world. I do want to beat the game, but how am I going to beat the game when I don't have any th resources, man? I'm just gonna try to break this chicken and, you know, get some health or something, man. Oh, God, I don't even know what to start with, man. What do, what do I do at this point, you know? Like, I just feel really lost at this point. Like, I want to go back and get my stuff, but I had a perfect home built. Why did I lose it all? Because of a boat? Because of a boat. Because of a fucking boat. 
grades. Let me just get this headphone in. I just really am blown away by the series of events that's happened recently. I'm just totally, hey, you're a big tree. You know, why not take some stuff off you? This shit is taking way too long. <laughs> oh my God, I cannot believe that happened, man. Like, what, what? Leave your suggestions as to what the hell I should do here because I'm just totally lost right now. I guess I'll make a crafting table and get some, you know, wood is always the greatest thing to start out with. So, you know, I guess I won't complain too much. I'll just make some wood stuff. Okay, so let's see. Um, we'll make some sticks and then uh, what we can do is uh, make some axes with this. And we should be able to, you know, manage getting a lot of wood like this. So, boom. Right, so, we got some axes. Oh, well, we got one axe. And uh, now, I think we're in a position where we can start rebuilding everything. You come with me. Okay then, so let's start the rebuilding process. As tedious as it probably will be. I really cannot believe that happened. Like, is that a common thing? Something was telling me I should stop fucking around with that boat thing. But the only reason why I stayed in the boat is because I saw it had water behind it. So when I saw the water behind it, I was like, oh. You know, what's going to happen here? Am I going to be teleported to a new location? No. Everything in Minecraft kills you. Everything. And I learned that lesson the hard way. Like an idiot. Everything in Minecraft kills you. That's the lesson to learn here. Why does this headphone keep falling on my ear? I, I hate headphones like this. The ones that are like long. Why do they look like this? I don't get it, man. I hate headphones like this. Really irritating because they don't stay in my ears. I have really small ear, like either every human being besides me has really, really big holes for their ears or mine are just really fucking small because they don't fit, obviously. I have the smallest ones in the pack in my ears. The ones that came with it were huge. I'm like, dude, dude's got like vagina ears or something. Like you put a big ass fucking plug in it like that. Jesus, why can't we just have the old earbuds? You know, the ones that are circled. I can't stand these, man. Anyway, sorry I'm complaining so much, guys. I really do apologize. I'm just, like, kind of mad right now. <laughs> Simply because of that crap that happened with the boat. I had so much planned for that place. I had so much I had so much in store. And for what? What happened? Why did I lose all that? Does this game have something against me? Does the Minecraft god, like, want to see me smitten or something? Like, oh, the Etika World Network shall never find a home. Never, ever. You know, and when he did, let's just take it from him by leaving a boat in the ground and letting him kill himself in it. Whatever. You know what? I don't even care that this isn't humanely possible anymore because, you know, physics clearly don't mean anything in Minecraft when you got a boat in the water. Where am I going? Where am I going, huh? I don't know where I'm going. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go... I want to beat the game. That's still the goal here. I want to beat the game. I want to fight the Ender Dragon. I want to get to the end of the game and see the Ender or the the end of the poem, whatever that is. I haven't seen it. I didn't. I haven't seen it. I didn't spoil it for myself. I want to see it when I beat the game. So you know what? I should stop complaining. Let's just stop complaining. Let's think for a minute and try to get everything back on track. You know, I shouldn't be complaining as much. Hmm. What's that? What the hell? What is that? Yo, you do see that, right? Those white things on the hill? I'm probably gonna get killed, so I probably shouldn't fucking try to even... Oh, they're wolves. I don't think they'll kill me as long as I don't hit them. I ran into wolves before. Aw, cute. Aw. I wish I could tame one. I learned that you can tame them, you can make them fight for you and shit. I like wolves. Ah, I want to take one with me. They at least protect me from monsters and such. Oh well, I don't have any bones because, you know, I had lost all my items because if I had my items, I would be able to kill some skeletons and such, but no. Oh man, you know what? No, no, no. I can't I let this happen. I gotta find some sheep or something. I gotta find some sheep. And get me a bed because if that's the case, I'm gonna be, I'm just gonna be spending like half an episode waiting underground for the monsters to go away in the daytime. I cannot let that be the case. I gotta find a sheep. I gotta find sheep. Come on. All right, we're on the hunt for sheep right now, man. Because if I don't find any sheep, I'm gonna have to spend underground waiting for daytime, and I'm not gonna look forward to that. 
Definitely not. You know what? Fuck this. I got to find some sheep. You know what? Sure, we had some misfortune, but losing like that the ability to sleep and to fast forward time so I can build myself up is going to be horrible. I got to find some sheep. Aren't there sheep in this area? I remember there being sheep here. Or am I wrong? Am I just totally like delusional? Come on, sheep. Sheep, 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 sheep. I got to find some sheep, man. I got to. So at least this way I don't have to. <gasps> oh, I almost died there. I almost died. Any sheep down there? Where would there be sheep here? Come on, man. Don't Billy Goats chill in the damn mountains or something, man? There's got to be something here for me. Come on. Come on. Where's the sheep? Where's the sheep? Thank God the sun is taking a little bit long to go down. But still, it's not going to be that way for too long. I got to find me some sheep, man. Right now, I can only imagine how I look in the Minecraft game. Like some dude just running through, scavenging, looking for a place to be. Looking for some sheep. Just like dirty as fuck, covered in leaves and shit. Just looking totally roughed up. Just like this guy's on survival mode hard right now. Really hard. Well, I shouldn't say this guy. Me. I'm on survival mode really hard right now. But you know, you, you get the point. I, I'm running and I'm using up all my like hunger doing it. But I got some chicken. So you know, I shouldn't be too worried. My main concern is finding sheep. Because if I don't find any sheep before sunset, I'm going to have to wait underground. Because there's no way I'm walking around with monsters out there. Come on, man, please. Where's some sheep? That's all I need. Just one, just three sheep. Three sheep, that's it. Three. Or oh, wait, I'm near the desert, right? I could find that desert town that I saw, and I could probably borrow one of their beds. You know what? Yeah, that's my best hope at this point, I think. Just finding that desert town. Because the villagers there, they had some beds there, I think. They, or at least if they didn't have, they got to have some kind of livestock or something, man. Oh, man, I got to stop wasting time. The sun is about to set in this bitch. Come on, man, please, please, let me find some, somewhere. There's no sheep in the damn desert. I know that for a fact, but maybe I can find that desert town. But where would it be in all this craziness, man? Where would it be? Damn, man, I don't see anything for miles, and I'm look. I got distance, rendering distance for me is at max right now, and I don't see anything relatively close. It's a good thing squid don't kill you, or else... Let's just say I'd be going through this a lot more angry than I am right now. Oh man, I'm just looking through the desert right now. I gotta find some somewhere to have refuge. Where is that desert town, man? Come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. Whoa, that's a weird looking tree. It's two colors. What the hell? Why does a tree look like that? What the hell? That looks so dangerous. No, that's not where I want to be right now. No way. No way. I want to be in this town, but no, the sun's going down. I failed, but you know what? I'm a trooper. You know what? Fuck this. I'm not going to be a bitch. Let's go. I'm building me some tools. We're not going to be bitched out here. I'm a man, you know? So fuck it. I'll build a sword, and this way at least I'll have some protection against the monsters. So you know what? It's all good. This is coming with me. And you know what? We're going to look around for that desert town because it's got to be here. This is probably the same desert that I saw earlier. But my hunger is down. Great. So, you know, I'm going to actually start losing health as time goes on. And there's no animals that would naturally spawn in the desert is what I'm guessing. So, you know what? I got a really nice regiment ahead of me. You know, we're, we're, we're traveling through the desert looking for goddamn monsters. And, no, we're looking for, for a city in the desert at nighttime with monsters out, only with a wooden sword to our name to protect ourselves. This is not a good situation. I'm not liking this scenario one bit. You see, this headphone keeps falling out. I don't know why. I hate these. But, all right. As long as we avoid the attention of a monster, we should be okay. We should be all right. You know, I ain't too worried. And besides, I got this sword here so I can protect myself if need be. But the thing is, I can't run. So if I find some beef then I'm going to get killed because I can't run right now. Come on. Where's that desert town? <gasps> I found a place! Oh! Yes! 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 I found somewhere. Oh, and there's some pigs here too. Oh, come here, little piggy. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, piggy. I'm just on survival mode right now. I am so sorry. Don't be mad at me. I'm just killing you because... You know, I wouldn't be killing you naturally. You know, I'm so sorry, Piggy. Come here. Oh, God, the bacon is so delicious. Oh, man, come here. Oh, man, I found a place. Oh, God, yes. What's that sound? What's that sound? What the fuck was that? 
What the fuck? There's a dude out there. He's got armor on, man. There's a dude out there who has armor on. What the hell is the good with that? Yo, he's got armor on. What's, what is that thing? What is that thing? <gasps> what the fuck? It's an Enderman. Oh my god, how am I going to get to that desert town? Oh god. I just got to run. I got to make it. Well, I don't know what that thing is. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on here? They're trying to get into town. Oh my god, what's happening? What's happening here? We got to go. Open the door! Open the door! Close the door! Close the door! Do you know what's going on here, man? Oh my god! Dude! Alright. Alright, just... to stay calm. We're good. We're good. We're good. You know, we don't have much to worry about here. The monsters can't come in here. They can't come in. Goddamn Enderman in there. Dude! Don't open the door! Do not open the door. We're just gonna stay in here for now. I wish you guys had a bed, but you know, it's all good. We'll, 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 we'll manage, you know? I don't think the monsters can open doors, but I keep hearing this weird banging sound. They can't open doors. They can't actually open them. They can break them down, maybe, but they can't open them. We're safe in here. Because, you know, it's not like I... Oh, my hunger level! My hunger! Dude... I think I'm going to need to use that cobblestone there to build me a stove to cook this meal. But the monsters are coming through. They're breaking down the doors, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't know what the deal is going to be here. What's that sound? That, that ticking sound? Oh, boy. All right. We got us a bad situation here. We're not... And I'm dying from hunger now. We're in a bad situation. Dudes, I will see you in the next episode because God only knows what the hell awaits us. I am so done right now, man. What's going on, guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you another edition of the Minecraft playthrough. And um, without wasting any time, let's get into it. Right now, we are dying from hunger. We are locked in somebody's house. And, um, pretty much I'm fucked here, so, you know, I'm gonna start eating this raw meat because there's really nothing else I can do. I'm just gonna start eating the raw meat because, at this point, what is there to lose, you know? What is it? What the hell? Oh, you guys want to trade, huh? Well, the, all your items suck, so, whatever. I gotta find a bed somewhere. Maybe I can, like, run out and get one really quick. Oh, maybe one of these other houses has a bed. Boom! Let's go! Go, 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 go. Okay. Okay, good. What's up, man? Damn, you want a lot for... Oh, oh, oh. But all right, man. We're in a bad situation here, dude. We have this village that's getting doors knocked down by damn zombies. So you know what? Let's... At least here we have a high vantage point. Let's climb up here, see what's good. Because at least up here, you know, monsters can't attack us. And we can also see what the hell's going on out there. All right, from the looks of it, it looks like there's not that many zombies. I thought there was a lot more, but um, it looks like we're good for now. We don't have much to worry about. So at this point, even though I can't find a bed, this is a big-ass village, man. Damn, look at the size of this place. Yeah, this is a big-ass village, but I mean, it looks like we'll be safe for the most part. We can work our way. So you know what? Whatever. We can make this our temporary home, away from home for now. Anyways, the goal is still to be able to get a lot of diamonds to be able to make a little bit of a um, tool repertoire for ourselves. So you know what? Without any further delaying, let's actually get this stuff going. I'm gonna make us a pickaxe. I really can't concentrate with all this banging going on, man. These zombies are really fucking rude. Damn, man, there's zombies banging on everything out here. This is kind of really disorienting, you know? Because, you know, you're trying to mine, you're trying to like make life better for yourself, and all you hear is damn boom, boom, boom. Zombies just banging on everything. This is crazy, man. Maybe I should go out and actually kill them. Because all I'm hearing is banging, man. They're like trying to get in somebody's crib. It needs to hurry up and be daytime already. I need to find a bed. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to find a bed. You know what, bro? I'm scared. I'm scared too, bro. But you know what? We ain't going to do nothing if we just sit in here 
waiting for the damn daytime to come. These zombies are going to break down these doors. They, we're not going to find any beds. We're going to wake up in the morning. Sure, it'll be safe. Okay. And it'll be in stone. But hey, whatever, right? Okay, then. So let's actually break some of this ground. What the fuck? Okay, we do not want that open. I'm just going to use this for cobblestone stove. Sorry, bro. You don't mind, do you? I gotta stop this banging. It's really annoying me now, man. Okay, try this. Oh, shit. They're coming closer. Do you dudes see this? Do you dudes see this? This man is literally skull fucking the door. Okay. Okay. They're coming closer, man. I don't know about you, but this is not a good look right now. This is not a good look. Jesus, it's so loud. The banging, man. Oh, man. Okay, I'm about to just make a mad dash to the end of the village. I don't think they have a... I don't think they're banging at the end of the village yet. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The end of the village doesn't have any zombies, I'm thinking. So we can just make a mad dash to the end. And boom, run into one of these places. We'll be safe. <gasps> oh, shit. Maybe not. Oh shit, they broke down this door. What the hell, how do I get in here? Well, I'm just gonna have to make my way in. Oh, there was a way to get in right there. Well, oh well. Either way, we're gonna cover this up, man. No, you're not leaving, bro. We, 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 we gotta stay in here together, man. There's no way that we're going out there with all these zombies. How did you even get in here in the first place? Oh shit! I thought that was a bunch of zombies for a minute. I was about to lose my mind, man. But it looks like everything's good now. Daytime, we don't have to worry about zombies. Everything is back to some kind of normalcy. All right, we're good. I'm glad, you know? Sure, it's a bit, you know, unsettling that we don't have any items, but hey, whatever. We survived the night. Congratulations, guys, we survived, we made it, you know? I feel good. Fuck, I feel really good, actually. I'm happy, man. That could have gone a lot worse, and I was thinking I was going to die the entire time, but luckily things did not get me. Oh, they have stoves here. That's what I'm talking about. I'll just take one. Yeah, just one. You know, you never know when you might need to. Okay, next. Let's see what they have in here. We're going to ransack this bitch. Sure, you guys helped me, you know, survive the night, but I am a man after all. I need my resources. <laughs> and he does have nothing in here. What is this village known for, man? What's your exports? Wood? <laughs> Whoa. I guess that's when the zombie died. Well, you know what? This is looking like a safe haven right now. I might just mess with this. You know what? Yeah, I think I'm just going to mess with this, you know? It's not my own home. In fact, this is a really ugly home. I wouldn't live here if you fucking paid me. But, bleh. Maybe I'll just deal. I've been spending far too long looking for places to live, and especially after that last mishap. I don't want to... I don't want to, like, just be looking around aimlessly anymore. So, you know what? Whatever. We'll deal with it. It's all good. Now, let me just get some of this pulp. For that bacon. Yes. Come here. Sorry, I'm not going to kill too many more of you. I think that's all the bacon I need right now. Let me maybe one more. And weird creepy music cued. What the hell? Oh, man. This is not the life, man. I tell you. What the hell's with this big ass... Fucking divide in the damn village. This makes no sense to me. Why is this here? I just love the randomizer of Minecraft, you know? Nothing here makes sense at all. Like, you know, this piece of grass growing in the wall. What the fuck is that all about? Carrots. Well, yes. I will take some carrots. Thank you. Thank you. This place is so boring and mundane. But you know what? It's all we got. And at this point, I don't think I'm in the position to be complaining much. So you know what? 
I'll probably choose the biggest house to live in. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to live in this one. This is going to be my place. Bro, you know, I, I paid rent. Yeah, I paid the mortgage, man. In fact, yeah, I, I bought the place, you know. I'm the owner now. I think you're going to have to leave, man. Dude, I mean, I know I know it's difficult sometimes to accept these things, but I, I paid the mortgage, man. You're going to have to leave. What do you... No, I don't... I don't have any... Hey, man, I paid in money, you know? Actual money. You're going to have to... All right, I, I guess... I guess there's only one way this is going to go down, then. Your friends don't have to see us. All right, so that's the way you want to have to be, huh? That's the way it's going to have to be, right? Come here! Come here! Come here, motherfucker! What the hell? He's mad? Well, come here! This is the way it's going to have to be, huh? That's the way it's going to have to be? That's the way it's going to have to be. I paid my rent. It was... Hey, man. It wasn't me. I paid my rent, all right? It was his problem. You know? Motherfucker didn't want to move out. I, had, I did what I had to do. What the hell? What the hell? Why is everyone coming in here? What the hell? Get out of here, man. Get out of here. What the hell? What do you want? Cook fish. Fuck you. I'm trying to come into my crib. Fuck. What, you can't fight, bro? Huh? Dude's trying to get in. Why is everyone trying to get in my crib for? I paid my rent. This is my crib. Hello? This is my... Wow. I think they all came to, like, gang fight me or something. Damn, man, this is kind of intimidating, you know? Like, I just killed two men, and now I have, like, five of them in my crib. Well, you know what? Fuck this. I'm not going to have to deal with this anymore. You know? If you want a problem taken care of, you got to do it the hard way. Boom. And now for you two suckers that are left in here, for you two, I think there's going to be a little bit of a problem in here. You're locked in here with a beast right now, you know? So, you know what? I'm going to handle this the way my mama taught me. When people have beef, that's when you, that's basically when you bring the jerky. Because at this point, these dudes don't get the point, man. Like, I'm going to have to actually kick some ass. I'm going to have to kick me some Squidward ass in this damn place in order for these people to understand that this is my crib. For some reason, I kill one of your people. All I do is murder someone, and everyone wants to make a big deal out of the damn shit. So you know what? I'm going to take care of this. I'm going to take care of this. You know, I've been through, I've, I've had life so hard. You don't know what I've been through. You don't know my struggle. Come here. Come here. You don't know my struggle. You don't know my struggle. Why are you running to your man's for? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Am I getting a hit? Oh, no, no, I'm not getting hit. I just hunger. You see, I'm dying from hunger right now. That's how real it is in these streets. So when I pay my rent, you give me my crib. I cannot believe I actually went on a huge rampage like that. I still need cobblestone, man. Oh, God. Please don't die. I'm gonna die. Things are not easy in these streets, man. Things are not easy. I'm gonna need some more sticks. I'm gonna need to make me another pickaxe. Oh, God. And then I'm gonna need to mine me this damn cobblestone. And then finally, you know, make some tools to get some diamonds and then to finally beat the game. So at least things are finally moving forward in that regard. I need to make me a stove, though, because I got to cook, because otherwise I'm going to die. What's that sound? What's that sound? What's that sound? Hello? What's that sound? All I heard was fire. What's that sound? Are they burning the crib? Are they burning the fucking crib? What the fuck? Get out of here, man. This is my place. What's that sound? These niggas are fucking psychos, yo. Oh, I don't feel comfortable here anymore. Oh, shit. Yo, maybe we, maybe we shouldn't have killed them. They're gonna burn the fucking crib. All right, I think I'm just gonna dip. I don't like this place anymore. I really don't. They burned the fucking crib. You saw that, right? They burned it. They were probably gonna burn the place I was in next. 
Yo, those villagers, man. I don't see them the same way anymore. Those dudes are crazy. I'm sorry, kid. But shit is on survival right now, man. Shit is on survival. Your boy's gonna fly here. Sorry. Shit is on survival. It's time to live, man. Damn, these fucking crazy ass villagers made me forget my crafting table. I don't know what that was. You do saw them dudes. I don't know what that was, man. But these dudes were crazy. You saw them, they burned the crib. Dude was standing out there just looking at me. He burned that crib down, looking at me like, this is what you get, you're next. We saw what you did in there. We saw what you did, you're next, nigga. I am not trying to get burned out when I'm comfortable in there. Because if I, I, what, what if I'm comfortable living in there and you know, I got a bunch of angry villagers who know I murdered like eight of their people. And then they're all like, oh, okay, let's teach that boy a lesson. Get fucking killed, just like that. No thanks. I'm not trying to have that happen to me. I ain't going out like that. That's not going to be my story. Luckily, I have just enough cobblestone to make a stove. But I had stoves already. I totally forgot. Bleh. I, had, I didn't even remember that I had my own stoves. The ones I, well, not my own, the ones I stole from the village. And the stove that I made from the ones that... From the, from the cobblestone that I broke off the house in the village. Either way, that village was... I'm not going back there, man. I don't think I'm ever taking residence in a village again. That place is crazy, man. Dudes burnt down that other crib looking straight at me. They, they burnt down the house next to mine. That's crazy. But anyways, guys. That's been our playthrough. I don't know what episode number this is, but I don't care. Because at this point now, that psychopathic village is definitely off limits. I don't know what they would have done if I stayed in there any longer. That's really disturbing. But, yeah. At least I know better for next time not to murder any innocent people. I'll talk to you guys later on. Take care of yourselves and please have a damn good one.